The Wicklow Way is the largest mountainous region in Ireland. It lies south of the capital of Dublin. The region offers some of the best walking in Ireland. No wonder it is known as the Garden of Ireland. The walk takes us through the ancient ruins of Glendalough, following quieter trails over rolling hills and high peaks, through forest lands and heather and glacial valleys. Join us as we take this seven day hiking adventure. On arrival to Enniskerry, we take a walk to Powerscourt Falls, which are Ireland's highest waterfalls at 121 metres. We visit the township of Enniskerry where we visit a local pub for a meal and a pint of beer before finishing up our accommodation for the night. Good morning, Peter Seller speaking here, one of the great wanderers. I'm travelling with Joseph Pulverenti and we're at the Crone Car Park uh, starting, it's really second day, uh, even though we were here yesterday walking around, where were we Joseph? Powers Court. Oh, Powers Court, but you know that little quaint Irish village called... Enniskerry. Enniskerry, that's right. Okay, so we had a really nice night's sleep. So where we... We're starting the Wicklow Trails. Let's see, we're going to walk about 20 kilometres today. And we're going to end up at Round Wall.
Today's spiel by Jojo Pulverenti. On you, Jojo, go for it. Good morning. Our journey today is to Glendalock, Glenda where we will see the Celtic Monastery. And where did we come from, Jojo? We came from Roundwood. Round Not Roundtree, Roundwood. Roundwood. And we have 10 Ks ahead of us, but we've actually already um, on our journey and we have done the first two Ks. And we passed the oldie world Scanlon Manor. <laughs> but look out for those pics because they're pretty exciting. Pretty much a sheep country, lots of beautiful trees, great scenery, and let's hope the weather stays with us today. Of course it will. Bye. I'm doing the Irish green. I've got my green socks, my green shirt, and the green valley in front of me. <laughs> having, a, having a great day. beautiful garden. We've just come up from a babbling brook where we've enjoyed lunch and now we're walking through the Garden of Ireland. <laughs> Glendalock's monastic city was founded in the 17th century in honour of St. Kevin. The monastery was the centre of this settlement from the 7th century until the late 1530s when the Irish monasteries were dissolved. Today we hike 17.5 kilometers on a circuit walk from Glendalock, which takes us around to, to the lake and then through an old miners village up an ascent to where we overlook the valley and walking around through a forest before we descend back to Glendalock. During the 19th century, 2,000 people worked the Glendalock mines. Mining ended in 1890. There was a revival in the 20th century, proving uneconomic, it ceased in 1950.
relief Glenda Lock and make our way for Glen Mahua. We have a 14.5 km walk, walking through the wooded slopes of Darabin to the scenic valley of Glen Mahua. This is Peter walking with his little van on the Wicklow. Mr. Wicklow, he's following us. We're departing today from Glen Malure, a beautiful building of the 1700s, I think. 1801. 1801. Well, you know, late 1700s, 1801. Uh, anyway, so today we're heading off from Glen Malure and we're going to a place called Moing. This is the map. You are here. We're going down this little path here and we're getting to Moing somewhere around here. Okay, so we're got 20 kilometers today, we've got a bit of a walk. point in the trip thinking why the hell did he come and do all of these kilometers? Today, the day takes us to Tina Healy. We have a 13 km walk through the lower slopes of Ballycumba Hill and Kulafanstohi Mountain. Very much dairy country. Finally, we arrive at Tina Healy where we end our walk at Murphy's Hotel. <laughs> 